A good Tuesday evening to everyone. This is Ryan at the National Weather Service in Norman with a winter weather update for tonight through early Friday morning. As you're probably already aware, we've had an area of sleet and freezing rain develop along I-44 extending from Lawton all the way into Oklahoma City and even further north now just south of Stillwater. We're seeing slick spots develop all across the Oklahoma City metro. Um, that will continue for the next couple hours, probably through about 7 to 8 p.m. until the precipitation, this first batch of precipitation ends. Um, uh, following that precipitation, there's another round that will develop late tonight uh, and move up from western North Texas into central Oklahoma, likely after midnight. And then finally, um, throughout the day tomorrow, snowfall um, will develop and move across most of the area. This is what it looks like, uh, what I just mentioned. Thursday we expect the snow um, and ice to begin to accumulate. Well, one thing you need to remember that is the uh, snow and sleet are combined as one. So if you see ice, that's that's freezing rain. And when we talk about snow, we're, t we're talking about snow and sleet accumulations. And then by Thursday night, uh, transition to mostly all snow across Oklahoma and western North Texas. The forecast snowfall amounts, including sleet, an area, broad area, 3 to 5 inches possible with local higher amounts extending from Oklahoma City uh, southward into Lawton. That could even slide a little further east uh, along the I-35 corridor uh, north of Ardmore towards Paul's Valley in that area as well. So I need to keep that in mind. Uh, basic thing to remember here is that it's it's already slick and it's going to get worse. So just stay at home if you if you can. Otherwise, take it real slow out there. Make sure you leave plenty of space between you and the other vehicles. Here's a look at the freezing rain or forecast ice accumulation amounts. Um, that ice uh, will probably be developing. Uh, through the evening hours as this first little batch moves off, uh, but most of it will probably occur um, during the day tomorrow or early tomorrow. Uh, it looks like more a snowfall and a sleet event um, with some ice accumulation on trees and, and bridges and overpasses. So there could be some power outages as well, so keep that in mind. Make sure you get your batteries and your flashlights and all that organized. If you do have to travel, uh, also remember, uh, put a blanket, uh, some water in your car, make sure you have those things available in case you get stuck out on the roadways. Okay, uh, appreciate you watching. Be safe out there. If you need any information, feel free to call us at 325-3816. Thank you and have a safe evening and a safe Thursday.